Come on in, everybody. Let's go ahead and give that praise this afternoon. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we just humble ourselves, Father, and God, we just repent of sin. Knownly, unknownly, Father God. And God, have your way, God, in us, through us, Father God. Lord, we just lift everything to you, Father God. God, we surrender all, God. We surrender the pain. We surrender the frustrations. We surrender, God, the fears. We surrender, God, the, just the failures, God. We surrender it all to you, Father. And God, we just ask you, God, just to have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God, on this call, God. Have your way, God, through each and every one of us, God. Have your way, God. We surrender all today. God, so many of us are carrying so many burdens, God. But, God, today we cast our cares, God. Because you said all who are labored are heavy laden come to you, Lord, and you will give us rest. We can learn from you, Jesus, because your burden is light and your yoke is easy. So, God, we're coming to you today, God, and you say you will give our souls rest. And somebody on here is so weary. Somebody on here is so heavy. Someone on here is just going through so much, Father. Someone on here is going to quit and just throw in the towel. But, God, I ask you to refresh each and every one of us today. God, give people strength in their bodies. Someone on here just feeling fatigue, God. Give us strength in our bodies. God, we just break off every attack on our minds. Break it off in Jesus' name. And I decree and declare we are in our right mind. That we have the mind of Christ on today. And, God, we just cast down the lies of the enemy because he was a murderer from the beginning. There's no truth in him. So we don't come into agreement for the enemy's lies, we cast it down. And I decree and declare over each and every one of us that we have the mind of Christ on God. And God, we put on the helmet of salvation. God, I decree and declare that we have a sound mind, a sound mind today. And we bind up the tormenting spirits in Jesus' name. And God, we just uproot every seed that you have been planted, God. Uproot every seed that the enemies try to plant it in our, our hearts and minds. Uproot it, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we yield to you today. God, we yield to your spirit today, Holy Holy Spirit, we yield to you. And God, we ask you to have your way. God, someone on here that have tried to do all they can do in their own strength. And God, we're just going to keep on standing, believing, confessing, decreeing, prophesying, speaking to those mountains because they got to move in the name of Jesus. And God, we just ask you right now to just, just move, Father, as never before. You said, God, if we have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, we can speak. Come on, we can speak to those mountains. We can speak to the mulberry bushes or that tree. We can speak, and it has to be removed. So, God, we speak right now to those mountains in our lives. We speak, God, to the uh, financial mountains, God. And we command it to be removed and be cast into the sea in Jesus' name. We speak to the relationship mountains, those giants, those things that are hindering marriages or uh, relationships to be fruitful and productive and successful and unified. We come against any demonic attacks in those mountains, God, that will try to hinder and just uh, be an obstacle in marriages and relationships. We command it to be removed and be cast into the sea, God. We speak to the mountains of sickness or disease and things, uh, uh, ailments. We command it to be removed and be cast into the sea. In Jesus' name, we break the cycle of this high hospital visits, God, or doctor visits. We break that cycle, and God, we decree and declare over each and every one of us, by your stripes, we we are healed. We are healed. So, God, I prophesy we have a clean bill of health, each and every one of us. You have a clean bill of health, and we will have long life. We bind up premature death. Every time we turn around, Lord, someone else done died. God, so we decree and declare that we will live. And not die to declare your works, Lord, in Jesus' name. I decree it in Jesus' name that, God, you will satisfy us with long life. You will show us your salvation and satisfy us with long life in Jesus' name. Amen. That our lives will not be cut short. I don't care if there's a spirit of Amen. death running around. I decree and declare our lives will not be cut short. I buy up anxiety in the nighttime hour. Someone just getting stressed out at night. You feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you're about to lose your life or take your last breath at the nighttime. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, I decree and declare that yeah. we're, we're, we're going to wake up every day, God, and we're going to do what you told us to do. We're going to yeah. finish the course strong. We're going to finish oh. the fight of faith, good fight of faith, oh, strong, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, we're going to finish this good thing fight. strong, God. We will not be a wounded 
warrior, soldier, Ooh, taken, out, taken out in battle early. The devil is a liar. Jesus. He's going to be killed in battle in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We're going to finish this fight. God, oh, shit. we thank you, God. In the name like of Jesus, that. we just come against fear. We find a fear. Mm-hmm. We come against fear. We find mm-hmm. a fear and command fear to come out. Guts and bosoms and loins and come out now in Jesus' name. Lord, I decree and declare right now that you send your fire right now in the purge and just to move right inside of us. God, get fear out. Burn up fear. Burn it up, God. Fear of just the unknown. Fear of failure. Fear of stepping into the deep, fear of prophesying, fear of healing the sick, fear of casting out devils, fear of preaching your word, fear of opening up our mouth, fear of just doing what you told us to do. God, we brought up fear right now in Jesus' name. And God, lose an extra measure of faith. Because you say you're giving us uh, each a measure of faith and grace. But God, I ask you God to lose an extra measure of faith today. In Jesus' name. Because, God, we know that faith is the currency, Father God. And, God, we have to have faith to even prophesy. God, we have to have faith to heal the sick and to raise the dead and to cleanse the lepers, God, to speak in others' homes, God. We have to have faith, God, even for our salvation. God, we have to have faith, Father God. Lord, to decree and declare things that be not as if they were, God. we got to have faith. God, for those on here that are struggling in their faith, God, God, I pray right now that we will be immovable. And shakeable, God, in the name of Thank Jesus. You, Somebody right now is Thank dealing with double mindedness, and we bind that up in Jesus' name. Lord, I decree and declare we're not going to be like a ship tossed to and fro from every wind and doctrine, you God. Because you said you that a double minded man it was is, is unstable in all their ways, and they shouldn't even oh, expect good. anything from you. So, God, we That's cannot word. afford to miss out, That's God, on what you have for us, because what we see is the opposite of what you spoke, God. We believe it. Come on, Rachel somebody to stand up today and say, God, I know what the opposite is happening, but we, I believe you, Father. I believe you. You're not going to leave me high and dry. you got to make this thing personal today, my God. God, you're not going to leave me high and dry. I God, you're going to do this, God. God, you're not going to disappoint me, God. Come on, God has even sent people to prophesy who encourage you, and then you begin to get in your emotions again. You begin to get in your feelings again. You begin to walk by sight and not by faith. The devil is a liar. I prophesy we walk by faith and not, not by sight in Jesus' name. Come on, we can't just keep walking and looking at what we see and falling apart. No. God sent people to prophesy to us. God sent his word and gave us dreams and vision to come just to confirm that he's getting ready to do it so close. It's closer than it has ever been before. The promise is closer than it has ever been before. In the name of Jesus, I know it don't feel good. God, but if we wait just a little while longer, if we wait just a little while um, longer, it's going to be worth the wait. Somebody got to know this today. It's going to be worth this fight. It's going to be worth the tears we don't shed. It's going to be worth the warfare we don't come on, went into prayer and battle and intercede about. It's going to be worth it all in the name of Jesus. Lord. Get somebody no, their fresh wind today, God. God, get somebody their momentum today, God. Somebody feels so stressed out and just overwhelmed by the tears of this life, God. And we know that once the seed falls on thorny ground, God, the thorns choke up. God, the word, Father. The thorns, God, represent the cares of this life and this world. So we just bind yes, it up God. in Jesus' name. Lord, I prophesy that this word today, God, and your word, God, will fall on good ground today, God, that will produce fruit, God. Uh, that will produce a harvest in us in the name of Jesus. And, God, we're going to reap that 30-fold, 60-fold, or 100-fold harvest that your word promised us in the name of Jesus. We're going to reap, God, what we have sown. And we bind up the enemy from trying to snatch this thing off, snatch our promises. We bind it up in Jesus' name. God, we're going to have a harvest. I decree and declare a breakthrough. I decree and declare right now a turnaround in our situations in Jesus' name. God, yes, had to God. To care. Come on, we're not going to waver. Come on, somebody wavering right now. Somebody just mm-hmm. struggling. You're struggling in this walk. You're struggling in your faith. You can't even read the Bible like you used to read. You can't even pray and fast. My God, Lord, touch each and every one of us. They may be struggling today. They may be wavering today, God. Give us a fresh Help touch from your presence. Give us a Help fresh us touch, Lord. God. Help, Help us, Lord, Lord Jesus. We cry out, God. You said many of the afflictions of the Help righteous, but you deliver us out of them all, God. 
today. So, God, we need your deliverance grace today. Oh, we need your deliverance anointing day today. Somebody over here just went through so much to doing everything right, but it seems like the wrong thing is happening. It seems like things have been held up and things have been stagnant. We brought up resistance. We brought up setbacks. We brought up delays in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I ask you right now, Father God, to bypass whatever the enemy's trying to do. Bypass the resistance. Bypass the delays. Bypass it now in Jesus' name. God, we thank you, Father God, for your breaker anointing. Send your breaker anointing. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, God, for the God of the breakthrough. The Lord of the harvest is in our midst. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Father God, for an open heaven right now over our heads. In the name of Jesus. And God, we know that the fervent effectual prayers of the righteous avail as much. So something, God, when we come together corporately, God, and open up our mouths and just release the sound in the atmosphere, God. Amen. Something not to shift. Something not to break today. In the name of Jesus, we're going to get everything that you have promised us, God. Because you said your Amen. kingdom suffer violence. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violence take it back by force. So God can yeah. say, take it back by force yeah. today. God, somebody is crying every day in depression, battling depression and discouragement. We come against heaviness. We yeah. brought up discouragement. We brought up depression over your people. God. God, lose peace today. Lose joy today. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, God, God, when the bank said no, when the bank said no, when nobody wanted to give us a chance, God, God, make a way out of no way, God. God, we thank you. We can't go through the front door, God. God, open up the rooftop, God, so we can come on through. Come on now. Come come on, on, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Because, God, we got to get what you said we're going to have, God. Some of us got so many deadlines, God. We got deadlines, God. And, God, it has to be done by a certain time, God. So, God, we even praise you, God, in the bank, God, for meeting every need, God, for meeting our deadlines. Because you are the God yeah. that supplies all of our yeah. needs, not some of our needs, but it's all of our needs according to your system. riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we decree that now. We decree and declare. Come on, your word, God, in Philippians 4. Come on, God, I decree and declare we can do all things to you, Jesus, who strengthens mm-hmm. us. So, God, we're not weak. We're not feed. Come on, we're not we're not we We're not strong. we're not no punks. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, lose boldness. Come on, lose boldness. Lose strength upon your vessels today. Lose strength, God. God, even encourage the encouragers, God. For those on here that's always encouraging other people, God, let them be encouraged because they have sown in that. So let them reap encouragement, Father, in the name of Jesus. And, God, you promised in your word if we have sown in tears, we'll reap songs of joy. Yes. So, God, I thank you, Lord God, that you will just yes, put joy Lord. on our lives, yes. put joy on our hearts, put yes, joy in our midst. In the name yes. of Jesus. Lord. Yes. So, God, we thank you, Father God, for the supernatural joy, God, to keep on going, to keep on powering, to keep on pushing, to keep on believing. In the name of Jesus, Lord, God, someone on here, God, Lord, I get tired of hearing the no's, God, but your promises are yes and amen. So, God, it don't matter what the doctor said. It don't matter what the banker said. It don't matter what the landlord said. It don't matter what the supervisor said. It don't matter what the haters, spectators, or naysayers have said, God. Your promises are yes and amen. So, God, we believe yes you, Father amen. God. Yes and Tell amen. Somebody got to say that. Somebody got to say that. God, your promises concerning my life are yes and amen. Amen. Yes. I, yes I and come amen, agree Father. with it. Come on. Girl, your promises are concerning my life are yes and amen. We got to agree with it. Come on. We got to agree with it. Somebody say amen. Yes and amen. 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 I'm in agreement, you. God, with your word. Yes. I'm in agreement. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
Come on, hallelujah. Somebody's about to go yes, to the Rehoboth today. Amen. That land, come on. Come on, that land of more than yeah. enough. In the name of Jesus, oh, yeah. you're about to enter into this land of Rehoboth today. God, come on now. Enter mm-hmm. into this land of Rehoboth today. A land of more than enough, God. Some of us are in transition mm-hmm. even now. And we can't find mm-hmm. Rehoboth. We can't mm-hmm. place our feet on solid ground yet. But God, I prophesy that you're leading our feet mm-hmm. on level ground. You are our good God. Level, you're level, leading our feet mm-hmm. on level ground, God. So God, level. I think to protect us to a place. Come on. Uh, take us to a prepared place, places. Father God. Oh, my God, Lord. A rehob of God. A place yes. where we can prosper. Mm-hmm. A place, Father God, mm-hmm. where we can. Mm-hmm. Come on. Hallelujah. Just, mm-hmm. we, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. God is Hope positioning us. us for greatness. My God. He's positioning a lot of us for greatness. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, I thank you, Father God. Yes, the God. failure mm-hmm. is making us thank greater. You. My God. Somebody got to yes, hear me today. The failure yes. is making you greater. The failure is making mm-hmm. you greater. Somebody mm-hmm. fell mm-hmm. one time. You felt a few times. Is this making you greater, yes, my God? Lord, as you get back up and try again, greatness is going to come upon you. The spirit of excellence mm-hmm. is going to come upon you, my God. And as you keep on climbing, mm-hmm. as you keep on moving, as you keep on pressing, mm-hmm. you're going to win. You're going to make it. I prophesy we are, come on, victorious everywhere we go. Mm-hmm. In Jesus, they may not feel like it. I know people mm-hmm. probably try to shut you off and, you know, just dismiss you. Somebody on here, you were just dismissed mm-hmm. and beyond rejected. My God, maybe I'll prophesy mm-hmm. to myself today on this line. My God. God, but God said, just prepare, prepare yourself for greatness. Prepare, oh my God, prepare, oh prepare yourself for greater. Amen. Come on, people mm. can't even see the God Amen. vision inside of you, but they're about to catch you on. My God, they're about to catch you on. Mm. So somebody may mm. dismiss you too soon, but God said He's about to raise you oh, up yeah. and He's about to plant you right oh, now in this season. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on. Oh my God, yes, Lord, I thank oh, you, Father God. How He loves us. Thank you, God, for you even know, separating the wind, mm-hmm. the wheat from the tares. Come on, the wheat from the tares. Yep. Come on. Yes, the tares have been uprooted. Come on. And the wheat is still mm-hmm. standing. And come on, we the wheat. We are the remnant on this thing today in the name of Jesus. Yes, and we're still standing. My God. Come on. The, the phonies and the counterfeits. Come on. They've been exposed yep. and they've been demolished. Yes. My God. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. We are here today. Yes. We're still standing. We're still standing, rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm-hmm. And then we got time. This is our season. This is our time to grow as never before. This is harvest time. This is harvest season. I know, my Mm -hmm. God, it don't feel good. Oh, my God. Getting ready to be Mm -hmm. pruned. Getting ready to, come on, go to the harvest. Come on, the God's getting some stuff up out of us. Come on, we can't talk the way we used to talk anymore. Come on, we can't walk the way we used to walk anymore. Come on, we're going through a new season. We can't think the way we used to think. My God, because God has greater for us. The whole much is given us much more required. Somebody got to hear me today. The woman is given much more is required mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. My God, I feel this thing so strongly today in the oh, name of Jesus. Come on, this is why. Come on, this is why it seems like people begin to fall away. This is why it seems like things begin to get a little bit tougher. It is my God. You seem like you have to push a little bit more. You say, God, I don't understand because you're coming to another season. My God, you just get one more push. Come on, one more push. One more push. You, oh, my God, you're about to bust this baby out. You're about to bust through this door. This door, come on, this door is about to Swing wide open. Come on, push the last mm-hmm. time. Push mm-hmm. one good push. One good push. Mm-hmm. Come on, tell me somebody's about to go into this next. You about to go into this next. You about to go into this next. You about to go into this next. In the name of Jesus. So Lord, I even thank you, God, on today. I thank you, Father God, on today. Right now, God, for what you're doing, Lord. Oh, God, you don't feel good, God, all the time, God. God, sometimes we want to take the bait and wrestle and be restless in the nighttime hour, but we bind up restlessness, God. You said don't be anxious about anything. God, you said about everything by prayer. Come on, we're praying now. We're presenting our request to you, Jesus, and the peace of praise will guard our heart. Come on, the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds to Jesus Christ. So let us with our mother. Oh, shit, that's what we're doing today. Come on. Somebody's been restless. We bind up that. Come on, we repent for this time. Restless in the nighttime. I worry about things that are out of our control. Stop worrying about things that's out of your control. You have done all you can do. Now stand. I need somebody to make a stance today and just stand. Oh, yeah. Just stand. Just stand. Just make your, just plant your foot. Come on, that's a, a prophetic act. Just stand. God, I make my stance today. I'm standing strong. With, oh, my God, I'm standing strong. Come on. I decree and declare. Come on, we're still standing no matter what. We're still going to be standing no matter what. I don't 
don't care if we're going through a famine. We're still going to be standing. A pandemic, we're still going to be standing. The hurricane, the tornado, the wind, come on the waves, the sea. Come on, we're still going to be standing. I prophesy, we're like a tree planted by the streams of water. Wherever season we're in, our leaves will not wither. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, I thank you, Father God. We're planted. Somebody say, I'm planted. I am planted. In the name of Jesus, I am planted. Something like you mean it. I am planted. I am planted. I know the devil wanted to take you out. I know the devil tried his best, his best shot to come on, suck the breath out of you, but the devil is defeated in Jesus is Lord. And today we decree and declare we're going to get what belongs to us. We're not going to let the devil get away with this stuff. Come on, that's just in his word. If a thief has been caught, come on, if he has been caught, he has to return back sevenfold. So God, we thank you, God, for the sevenfold harvest, this sevenfold anointing, this sevenfold blessing that's coming upon our lives. We know who the thief was. We know what he tried to do. My God, and we're going to get up the loan to us in the name of Jesus. Somebody right now, get your joy back. Pull it down. Pull your joy down. Come on from heaven. Joy. Come on. Oh, like yeah. joy. Pull it down. Oh, pull yeah. your joy back. Oh, yeah. Pull your peace back. Pull your peace oh, back. Yeah. Pull your love back. Oh, pull your sanity back no. down. Oh, pull your sanity back down. Yes, the devil wants to make you crazy. Your the devil wants to make you feel like you're about to lose your mind. My God, somebody needs to pull their sanity back down. In All the right. Name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you, God. Come on. Come on. We got our sins today. In the name of Jesus, come on. Mm. Smash down your harvest. Oh, Smash it down. Come on. Don't play with this thing today. Smash down your harvest. Smash it down. We 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 Keep going. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Come on, God. Give somebody a second momentum on here, God. A second win today. Mm-hmm. God, we keep on going. We keep, oh, my God. I feel this thing so strong. My God. Mm-hmm. Somebody right now, just lift your hands up to heaven and just receive this word. Come on, God. I thank you, God, for divine visitation today. Mm-hmm. Divine anointing. Mm-hmm. Come on, right God. now, God. Fresh winds, uh, fresh winds, uh, Rose, yeah, fresh winds, God, fresh winds today, God, we need it, Lord, uh, God, we thank you for a second momentum, come
load a little bit easier for you in this season. I'm going to send you help. I'm going to send you divine support mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. Thank and somebody God. right now, you felt alone. You felt like you were the only one. But God said, I'm sending you a team. I'm raising you up a team. Amen. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. My God, hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, we thank you that we're going to come out the small man's mentality. We're going to come out the poor man's mentality. We're going to come out, come on, the broke, busted, and disgusted mentality. We're going to have everything that you promised us. Come on, we're going to come out, out of the, the, this getting, somebody feel like they have to have the approval of men. You don't need the men's approval. As long as you got to have the seal of, seal of approval, right. come on, keep going. Keep going. In the name of Jesus. So, God, we keep on going, God. We keep on plowing. We keep on going in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you on today. Hallelujah, Lord, for what you're doing. In the name of Jesus. God, for those on here that are sick, heal their bodies now. For those on here, Father God, that, Lord, ah, mm, Lord God, are just going through some warfare, witchcraft. Put that stuff off in Jesus' name. God, you say you're suffering out of wish to live. So, God, we send your fire right now to burn up, God, every witch and warlock that's trying to pray against us in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. God, we thank you, Father God. Oh, my gosh, it is you. A hedge of protection around us, God. When we go out there in the community, God, Protect us. When we travel, God, mm-hmm. some of us about to travel, God. Protect oh, us, yeah. God. God, when we go on the airplane, protect us, God. When we go on the train, protect us, God. When we go on the Ubers and the Lyfts, God, protect us, God. Or the taxis, God, protect us, God. God, even when we're at the workplace, protect us, God. We bind up terrorism. We bind up domestic terrorism. Yes. We bind up hate crimes. We bind this lies of the enemy up in Jesus' name. God, I prophesy that the enemy will not be able to cross the threshold because we're in the building in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And because we're in the building, God, other people's lives are spared. And Jesus, now I decree that now over each and every one of us, even over our children. God, I decree and declare, yes. protect our kids when our kids go back to school. Protect our kids even when our kids are in the workplace. Protect our children, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare we will never have to bury our children. We will never have to bury, come on, our kids, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, protect us. Protect our kids. Give our kids long life. God, if our children are not saved, save our kids. Mm-hmm. God, if our parents are not saved, our in-laws, our, come on, our spouses, our, our siblings, God, our, our, our loved ones, save them now in Jesus' name because life is but a vapor, God. Life is not promising no one, Father. To, excuse me, tomorrow is not promising no one. So, God, save the, our loved ones that's on our heart. God, we thank you, Father, right now. Let our light, God, let, let the light of Christ shine to us brightly, God. Let, let your light shine to us. And somebody, you don't need to lose your saltiness. I prophesy we won't lose our saltiness on this earth. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to order our steps, because the steps of a good man or woman are ordered by you, Father God. And God, I thank you, Father God, as we submit our ways to you, as we commit our, 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 our work to you, God, you will establish it. And that's a word from heaven today. Amen. So many people want to launch businesses. So many people are just doing things in their own strength. But God says, commit your works to me. Yield it to me. Seek me for strategy. Seek me for a plan, amen, concerning your business, and I will cause it to be established in the name of Jesus. I don't care if it's an uh, uh, economic crisis. I decree and declare your business will still be standing. You will still get orders. You will still get an influx of clientele in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, God, for that word in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So we're getting ready to shift, amen. And I just wanted to prophesy, I want to prophesy that God is going to perfect everything to stand in our hearts today. Everything. Everything. It's not too hard for God. It is not too hard for God. It is not too hard for God. I know it, it may look like nothing is happening. I know it may look impossible, but it's not impossible with God. So, God, we thank you, Father God, for doing the impossible in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So, for the next few minutes, let's cry out. Come on to God because, again, we're on this line to get refreshed. We're on this line, come on, mm-hmm. for the Lord. Not for the prophet, but for the Lord. Come on, so yeah. for the next two minutes, we're going to give God the glory and the Lord, praise and the Lord. honor. Come yeah. on. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 
Jesus, God. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Our rock, our refuge, our peace, Lord Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Fill us up, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Touch our minds, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 My God. God is moving powerfully. Come on by his spirit. So, God, we thank you, God, for your presence on today. Let me make these announcements, and then we'll shift. We'll get some praise reports, and then we're going to serve you guys in prayer. Amen. So if you want to bless the ministry, so on to what we're doing, go to my cash app, which is dollar sign profit, Kimberly Moses, or go to my Venmo, which is Kimberly Moses 19, or go to my website at profitisk.org. I'm so excited what God is doing. If you haven't checked out the brand-new issue of Rejoice Essential Magazine, make sure you visit our website. It's free. We've got a lot of great blogs on there, uh, cooking blogs great content, um, go to rejoiceessential.com. Uh, rejoiceessential.com is two E's together. Amen. Rejoiceessential.com. Make sure you go there and check that out. Also, make sure you download the app. I have a brand-new podcast out today. I haven't even had a chance to share it yet. I'm, oh, my God. But, um, it's Warfare Strategies. It's going to bless you. Make sure you download the Rejoice Essential Network app. Download that app, Rejoice Essential Network app. Um, or iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Podcast, Apple, uh, Spotify, Roku TV, Fire Stick, you know, make sure you download that app and you can listen to me and other anointed ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, again, if you guys are interested in starting a podcast or being on Roku or even writing for the magazine, you know, we have maybe like two slots open, amen, if you're interested in joining Rejoice Essential Network. Amen. And it's an advertising network. So if you're interested in uh, joining a part of that, then please send me an inbox. You know, my job is to promote and push others. Amen. And God gave me this magazine. been doing it since 2015. So I'm going to be faithful over my assignment in Jesus' name. All right. Um, what else I want to say? Tomorrow night, please write this down. We're not going to be on the call tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Also, next week at 7 o'clock, we're not going to be on the call because both weeks we're going to be on Facebook. So tomorrow night, We'll be in the poor room on Facebook, and I'll share the flyer again, all right? Me and Pastor Sebastian are going to be talking about discipleship one-on-one, and we're going to have a great time in God. So make sure you join the poor room or tune in so you can watch the, the broadcast. Next Wednesday, we're going to have a five-day conference, All Things Relationship Conference, and it's going to be on Facebook Live, all right? So make sure you follow Prophetess Kimberly Moses. And then my, my Facebook page, and you can tune in every night at 7 o'clock for, um, from the 16th on down to the 20th. And it's going to be powerful. We're going to have worship. We're going to have prayer. Amen. And we're going to believe God to turn your relationships around, whether it's marriage or whether it's in the workplace, whether because some of us got so many enemies, so many haters and spectators. My God. You know, so it's, you're going to hear a word from the Lord uh, next week. So make sure you tune in as well. We'll be back on the line at 7 o'clock that, that next Wednesday, I think it's the 23rd, so we'll be back on uh, the line at 7 o'clock that Wednesday. But anywho, let me open up. If anyone got a praise report, we'll go ahead and testify. Let's give the devil the black eye today. Anybody got a praise report? You can encourage us today. Anyone Hello. got a praise report? Yeah, hi. How you doing, Dr. Angela? All right, you. Um, it's sort of... My praise report, and it's sort of somebody else's praise report, but um, the Lord just put on my heart to, to mention it. Um, one of the ladies that goes to church with me, a uh, guy wants to give her a ministry over in the neighborhood she lives in because it's a lot of uh, women that's over there, um, you know, that's, you know, in different types of lifestyles, I put it like that. And um, mm-hmm. she's been through those lifestyles, so she, um, God is going to use her to start teaching them Bible study. Okay. And um, and not only that is 
God told her to use my book, my uh, devotional, my 180 days uh, communion with God daily devotion as her Thank teaching you, tool. And so she had she asked me, uh, will I come and you know and, and you know help out on certain t- days? I told her, yeah, I, I would be glad to, you know. And I I mean, and reason I'm saying that is because um, you know the enemy had me discouraged, you know, when I wrote that book, it, you know, and it, it, to me. You know how we is. We we want to sell books. Of course, we we do write them, and we want to sell books. You know, and when they don't seem like they're selling at a rate that you know we should think they're selling in, but then you have to realize that God had another way to get things out. You know, get your book out there. He has other ways. You know, instead of our way, God used His way. So He's the way He's going to use it to get people aware of the book is. Uh, they're gonna start having. She's gonna start having Bible study like on Wednesday mornings with the ladies in her neighborhood, and so she's gonna be um, t- teaching them, you know, out of my book. And not only that, she's gonna be praying with them, and you know, and leading them to Christ, you know. And I just, you know, I just thank God for that. I just wanted to to um, bring that up because how how God does things. You know, a lot of times we think God should do, or work a certain way, but then God has His own way, a way He the way He to work. And I just thank God for that. Amen. Thank you, God, for open doors. Hallelujah. Amen. Opportunity. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you, woman of God. Amen. Don't be like all the beginnings because I know Jesus. how it feels to write a bunch of books. I got 35. And when I first started, nobody was getting my books. Nobody. I had a book that sat on mm-hmm. shelf for one year before it made its first sale. So I understand, mm-hmm. but God is so faithful. And even some of my books, people that slept on it when they release, they're going back and buying the older books, you know. So oh, I yeah. believe God's going to just blow on what you're doing, and your books will take off. And Jesus, I'm about to create in your life. Amen. Amen. Just continue to be faithful. Amen. And God, Amen. God's going to do it. Amen. 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 So this is powerful. Amen. Amen. I thank God Amen. for that. So anyone else got a prayer report to encourage us today? Amen. I do. I do. This is Tara. Um, so uh, my daughter graduated on last Friday, and we took a family vacation. It was 12 of us total. We went to Florida um, for um, her graduation trip. Well, this car, it was r- real busy traffic, of course, and... This car jumped out. I want to know you work, Irma. I'm sorry. And this car, now we're driving a 12-passenger van. This car jumped out in front of us, literally, and we had to slam on brakes. So my boyfriend was the driver. He didn't even look into the right lane. I think it was just like automatic instinct just to keep from hitting the car that jumped in front of us and swerved over into the right lane. And I immediately was like, oh, my God, because it's it's like 5 o'clock at this time, Florida traffic, and it just so happened, by the grace of God, there was nobody in that lane because if there were someone in that lane, a wheeler truck could have been coming because it was a lot that were on the road, they would have killed us. They would have killed us. And I was like, Lord, and I had just finished praying real heavily, like, you know, Lord, continue to protect us, send your traveling angels of mercy. And I had just finished seeing that prayer when that happened. And it just so happened no one was in that lane, which was odd, because I'm like, why did why did this car jump over in the lane in front of us and slammed on brakes when there's nobody in the lane beside us? So I thank God that he, you know, protected us from you know, getting into a bad wreck, because as I said, it was 12 of us, including babies, teenagers, adults, you know. So he he shielded us and, and kept us and protected us, and Thank it you. was it bothered us so bad that when we made it to our home, our destination, um, our Airbnb home, he immediately just fell to his knees and just started worshiping God, like, Lord, just thank you for shielding our family. Thank you for protecting us. I mean, it shook us that bad. It did. It shook us bad. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, God. Hallelujah for Jesus. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. Thank you for your protection, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Continue to protect and shield, cover. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And that's powerful because I have seen videos where uh, just mm-hmm. like all the interstate crashes and all those. Mm-hmm. You know, crazy car pile up. But God is so mm-hmm. good. Amen. So that's yes. powerful. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank Thank you. It is scary. Amen. Just like yes. you know, every time I almost got in a car accident, I was shaking up for a while after that. I just thank God too. Like, whoo, I could that could have been deadly, you know, fatal. So God is yes. good. That's and powerful. The, the lane that we were in, I mean there were the cars were lined up in that lane. And so that's why I'm like, why did that car jump in front of us like that? Because people were like, basically, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. So that's how I knew it was nobody but God because I'm telling you, that lane beside us that he swerved into immediately to keep from hitting that car, no, that lane was completely empty at that time. And then right after we got over in there, I looked again, it was cars everywhere, and I'm like, fuck that where did these cars just came from? So I was like, oh, God, that was nobody but you got this covering us at that moment. It was nobody but him that, that did that. And I, I won't change my mind about that. Nobody can tell me anything different. That was nobody but him at that moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his angels. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Powerful. Amen. Amen. All right. So does anyone else got a prayer report to encourage us? Yes, praise the Lord. Can you hear me, Prophet K? Uh, yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. I just want to give God a praise and glory. You know, after I gave that interview, uh, you gave that interview, uh, it looked like the enemy was just coming at me all kind of way. And mm-hmm. he was the one way he was coming with the, uh, my blood pressure pills, and I had supposed to get them from the Walmart store, and then they didn't have them, so I went to another Walmart store, and they said, yeah, we got them. And then I went in there to get them. They said, we don't have them. And so uh, I called CBS, and CBS said, uh, yeah, we have those pills. And then I got over there, and they said, well, ma'am, we can't give them to you. I said, why you can't give them to me? She said, because your doctor called in the wrong medicine. So I had to go back. I went back to the car and sit in the car and called the uh, the uh, doctor. But on the way to the car, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, is the devil mad at me because I did the interview? And he said, yes. And when I heard mm-hmm. that the Holy Ghost just went all down in my spirit, man, praise God. And before I could make it out the door, hallelujah, I began to shout and praise God as loud as I could in the middle of CBS, hallelujah. And I just give God the praise and glory, hallelujah. But when I came to where and realized where I was, I mean, I know they heard me. That the whole story heard me, praise God, because I was praising them. And when I got back out the door and went, got in the car, I sat there for a minute, and I called the people, the doctor, and they said they were going to get it straight. And I stayed, stayed in the car for a minute, praising the Lord. And when I I went back in, they were going, yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we got it, we got it, we got it ready for you. We got it ready for you. We got it. Praise God, got the Holy Ghost to hit them people to get to do what they need to be doing, praise the Lord, because I I want to be delivered from the blood pressure medicine, but for right now, I'm not delivered, and God is going to do it for me, but right now, I need those pills, and I thank God for how he, he opened up the door and made a way out of nowhere way for me to get the medicine mm-hmm. that I need in the mighty name of Jesus, and I give God all the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's going to deliver me, uh, Providence Angela. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. I remember your testimony. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Powerful. Thank Amen. You. So let's, let's go ahead and get some prayers in, prayer requests in. <clears throat> If you like prayer, please push star six, and we can pray for you on today. All right. Is it Allison or Leticia? It's Allison. How are you? Good. Okay. So my prayer request, I have been um, waiting 
um, for my taxes to be released, and I was really just needing the funds. And um, I know there's some type of, like, buildup, I guess, on them releasing it, so I was just praying and believing God for them to be released soon uh, because, you know, need it. But <laughs> exactly, you agree with me in prayer for that. They're going to be released Amen. soon. And, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, that you will uh, just release these funds that this woman of God needs, Father God. And, God, we even lift up just the IRS workers, Father, that if they're understaffed, God, send more work, send more help, God. And, God, send the funding that they need, God, so they can get on top of everything and they won't get behind because if they get behind in their work, it, it affects a lot of people, God, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, to just speak an acceleration, God, that you can even put um, – um, her application, God, to the front of the stack, Father God, and that they can process her check quickly and her refund quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, we just ask you right now, God, to even bless her, God, outside of this check, Father God. Bless her, Father God, mm-hmm. with supernatural funds. Let supernatural funds hit her uh, bank account, God, in the name of Jesus. Let money come from the north, south, east, and west, Father God. Let her find unusual money, Father God, when she's walking in the store, God. Let her look down and just find a a uh, hundred dollar bill or something, Father God, something supernatural mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, that uh, all of her needs will be supplied by you, God. So God, we decree and decree that all of the bills will be paid on time, that she will have a debt elimination, that she will prosper, God. And we thank you, God, uh, that she will prosper as a soul prosperous, and mm-hmm. she is in good health in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you for an expansion. We thank you, God, for a supernatural disbelief of the harvest that she needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So amen. be encouraged, woman of God, and I just prophesy this back pay even outside of the IRS, whatever is owed. I pray that God would just cause money to come from the north, south, east, and west upon your life, and that this, his mo- this money would just chase you down in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Amen. So y'all made my job easy today. Amen. <laughs> well, that's great because I got some business calls to do and got to work with some other businesses. So I love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock, Tons of Fire. You have a beautiful day. God bless.